All right, so it is connected and uh, we are using a free app and we, the iPad is connected to the Samsung TV, completely free. I know it is a bit laggy, I'm not gonna lie, but it's completely free and it's completely wirelessly. Yeah, that is not an Android TV, by the way. Pretty awesome, right? Let's dive right into it. Hey, what is going on, buddy? I'm Riz, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can connect your iPad, any iPad, by the way, to your non-Android TV. Now, it can be any TV, by the way. It can be an LG TV, it can be a, Sam a Sony TV, or like this tutorial, it can be a Samsung TV that is in the background. And yes, my iPad is actually connected at the moment but I'll show you exactly. Actually, I'm gonna show you step by step on how you can connect your iPad, any iPad, to your non-Android TV. Yeah, let's dive right into it. All right, so step number one is the connection. You have to have a connection because if, we, if we're doing this wirelessly, you need to have a medium. So basically, we're not using a cable, but we are using an invisible cable. And that, that was supposed to be a joke, by the way. All right, so we need a connection. Now you have multiple options, as I said before. You can use Wi-Fi, you can use mobile hotspot, or even use a different Wi-Fi if you have it. So I recommend using anything that is available to you. In this case, I have both. I have hotspot coming out from my iPhone, or I could also use just the normal house Wi-Fi. So go to the iPad settings, go to the Wi-Fi settings, and connect your iPad to your Wi-Fi or the hotspot coming out from any other phone or any other device, okay? As you can see, I have my iPhone's hotspot and my Wi-Fi. But right now, my iPad is connected to the Wi-Fi, but it's your choice, okay? All right, so once the iPad is connected, now what you wanna do is go to the App Store. Once you're on the App Store, search for a free app called Replica. I've been using this app for a long, long time now, and I can guarantee it, it's absolutely free. And I'm sure I'm gonna show you exactly and why it's free. Yes, yeah, yeah, pretty awesome, right? All right, so that's it. By the way, I apologize about my throat. It is pretty hurting, but I apologize about that. Okay, so once the app is downloaded on your iPad, that's all we need to do. Now, let's jump into the TV and let's do this. All right, so this is a 11 years old Samsung non-Android TV, okay? So just go to the settings and find the network settings. By the way, if you have never connected your TV to a Wi-Fi, or let's say your TV does not have Wi-Fi connection, I will link that video in the description box below, or you can watch it on the top right corner. So connect your TV. Uh, if you have never done this before, go to the network settings, and you might have to enter the Wi-Fi password. But if you have done this before, just go to the network status and make sure your TV is connected uh, to the same uh, hotspot or the same Wi-Fi as your iPad is. That's really important, okay? So just make sure your TV and your iPad are on the same network. Once your TV is connected, that's pretty much it, okay? That's all we need to do. Now, let's fire up the uh, replica app that we downloaded. Uh, once you open the app, uh, you will find your TV listed uh, if you if you have multiple TVs, it's gonna show you all the TVs in the background. But right now, it's the only one. As you can see on my screen, that's the Samsung LED 40. That's basically the same TV that's running in the background. Okay. So every time you connect, uh, every time you click on it, it's gonna ask you to buy it. But if you look closer to the top right corner, I'm gonna show you again. By the way, if you look closer to the top right corner, you have the option to escape. There you go. By the way, I'm gonna show you again for the sake of understanding. So every time, every single time you click on it, it's gonna ask you to buy it, okay? But you don't need to buy it. I've been using this app for as long as I remember. And if you look closer to the top right corner, you have the option to exit. So once you click on it, it's gonna ask you, are you sure? Just click on ignore offer, and that's pretty much all we need to do. All we need to do. That's it. And now what you wanna do is click start broadcasting and three, two, one, bam, we are connected. By the way, I'm gonna show you uh, some gameplay as well. I'm gonna play Clash of Clans. I mean, it's really awesome. You can do a lot of work with this one. You can even use uh, use it for a presentation and stuff. It's pretty, pretty awesome. And uh, by the way, if you wanna quit, uh, 
if you want to exit from this uh, screen ring process, I'm going to show you uh, in a bit as well. By the way, I do have an end note at the end of the day, so stay tuned for that. But it's it's really awesome. It's completely free. It's a non-Android TV, and uh, yes, sure, it is a bit laggy. I'm not going to lie. It is a bit laggy, but it is what it is. So uh, this is by far the only free method that I've found on the, uh, on the App Store and on the Internet, to be honest. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. And uh, again, if you want to stop this, pretty, pretty simple. If you look closer to the top right corner, you have the option. Uh, you can see the red uh, recording icon. It's actually not recording. Just click on it. It's actually broadcasting. So just click All on right, it and so click stop. That's it for me. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. If you are not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.